think one more round of Ordo should raise it up to almost enough. So, why don't you tell the you viewers who may not have as much experience with exactly what you are doing with this Hungry Unstable node? Um, so, for anyone who doesn't know, you can take a node and manipulate its properties. When I say manipulate, I literally mean you could sit there and make it stronger. Hungry nodes get strong by eating the world, but they become hungry by being unstable, which is generally done by bad viz. But I have intentionally unstabilized it, as seen in the last episode of, um, last few episodes of, um, Falses and Magic, since this is Minds of Insanity, and I am feeding it energy right now. That is why I keep tossing this. I'm actually about to go and get some fire shards and throw them in the condenser and make me some fire shards. I'm actually probably about to go and condense a bunch of shards and make a bunch of, like, make a stack of every kind of shard for myself. Just so I have a, that many shards. Very interesting. Now, when you've given it a whole bunch of different types of shards. Uh-huh. What are you going to do? Well, I, I'm going to disable it like I'm doing now. And I'm going to go put it back in a jar. And I'm going to turn it all into sentient viz. Which is instant, infinite viz that I can put in my wand. But right now, I gotta wait for this damn thing to run out of energy. Come on! This thing takes forever to use up all its power. Now, for I think that's a hundred thousand buffer. It don't eat that much power, believe it or not. However, I would hate to see our power reserves after this. Ah, shit. They're not doing well, especially since I made that special pylon thing. Yeah. We need to make the diesel generator, though. Absolutely love how this thing, this thing, like, slows down and everything, and it's awesome. So. Let me go. The process have gone through all my music and of a shitload of it. Okay. I wonder if balance shards have an EMC. I don't think they do. If they do, um, what we were talking about, about non-natural resources is going to happen for balance shards, Alex. Ah. Eat the fucking bread. Cause fuck the bread. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck all your bread. <laughs> yeah. Charlie is a stupid bitch. I could believe that. So there's only six, um, yeah, there's only six. So, I'm about to come in and make a shit ton of all the shards, so I've got 64. As much as I didn't want to do this, it's happening. created another monster you have created more monsters than what would than what we know to know what to do with Alex well I mean I still have the Spinosaur and the T-Rex and they're going to need their own metal chambers or something and they're probably going to murder all of you I mean they're they're quite vicious all right um very good at eating your spleens Spleen consumption seems to be one of their primary goals. 
If I throw an ender pouch in here, does it get the same ID? It does. So, Cass, you need another ender pouch? Yes. Uh, come look in the energy condenser and you will find one with the exact same ID. I don't even know what that is. Huh? I don't even know what that is. The... Uh, it's that thing we put an item in and then use solar power to make more of it. Yeah, that. Hey, yeah, that still does not help any. Okay, well, okay. Uh, you know the weapons chest? Red fern, furnace. You know the mat, you know the weapons chest? It's the silver chest that's nearby it. Yeah, the silvery one with that gold glowstone thing on top of it. Okay. Yeah, we have like almost a chest full of these things now. You have a super high EMC value, so I thought, well, I'm going to turn that, turn all that into there, and it will get rid of it real quick. But no, I think that's actually still not even going to be enough to get rid of all of it. Now, Kitty, you need to stop losing your mind. Kitty is really just being dangerous right now. The cat hasn't had his mind in years. He's quite frightening. The cat's not even one. Okay, so now I need to get glass and um, slabs. So where are you at, Cassie? At my house. Okay. If you come back to the base, you could get one of these things real easy. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. We all know you're a tumor, I'm, Alex. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. We already know this, Alex. Shit, I gotta go refill my wand before I can even do this. Because I am short on three aspects. Why haven't you gotten us aquarium stuff yet? I'm working on it. How are you such a sucky wizard? Do you know how much energy it takes to make one aquarium? None, because you don't use energy. You use Viz and Essentia. I assume you were trying to make some sort of profound remark, but I'm not having any of that shit. <sighs> did did, did you say profound remark? Yes, some sort of point. No. You don't get that shit. I got more shit than you. Oh. No, you don't. We got shit, Jack. He's got a wife. Oh, that was even harder. He's yeah, got a house. I, yeah, I don't consider either of those things very awesome. Because, hey, a house is just something that ties you down to the land so that insurance companies can, legally speaking, own you because you have to have insurance. And a wife is just something that some idiot somewhere said, Hey, here's an idea. Let's use the concepts of marriage to bind men and women together so that they'll be easier to control. Hey, Alex, you know you don't have to have house insurance, right? It's only car insurance you have to have. Well, it's... There are some actual gray area laws, depending on flooding areas and all. But you nope. get my point. You, you don't even have to have it in flooding areas. Uh, how, how it looks like, because your house doesn't hurt someone else's house. Your house hurts itself, and that's it. Now, it that the reason why you have to have car insurance is because if you hit someone else, you've damaged their car and possibly them. Therefore, you have to be able to pay for their shit. And that's why you have to have car insurance. But house insurance, you don't have to have because your house isn't going to hurt someone. They might get hurt on your property, but your house isn't what caused it. So, Necessary. Walrus... Wal walrus on enchanting table? It's not on the enchanting table, damn it. Yes, it is. You have lost your mind. I'm sitting here looking at it. No, it's next to the enchanting table on the books. Well, I mean, the bookshelves are technically part of the enchanting table setup, so yes, it is on the enchanting table setup. As much as I don't like doing this. Oh, you you mean you're going to actually shower? What? He showers all the time. 
Oh, so you're going to stop being a twat? I doubt that's possible. Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah, uh, I, I knew that was I'm talking true. about putting nodes in a jar. Because it damages the damn node. And I hate doing it. Especially whenever you're too stupid to know how to not um, undo the node. And when I say not undo that, I mean, I mean, like, I'm not smart enough to make sure I switch out from using my wand so I'm not wasting viz. Because you can't pick up a node in a jar with your wand, by the way. It yeah, will release the node every time. So I'm about to make a nice big fireball. Where do y'all want it? I would say on top of the um, windmill, but it's got solar panels up there. You know what? On top of the magic shack is perfect. Y'all know what I mean? Nah, nah. We don't speak stupid. Oh, damn it, Alex. <laughs> okay, so. Remember, Charlie, we were created for the specific purpose of dragging you down. I could tell. You know what the best part of that job is? Charlie, Fact let me tell you your one mistake. You brought us both into the same house. Exactly. That was your biggest mistake right there. <laughs> okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. Ah, oh, shit. You're, you're terribly wrong. No. Uh, fuck me. You should be ashamed. No, and no, no one's ever going to shit. do that. Shit! It, it became a fading node. Stabilize it! It is stabilized now. I don't have an advanced stabilizer, though. So, leave it alone. Give it some time. An advanced stabilizer is what fixes fading nodes. There has to be other nodes around here for it to not to do that. Either way. Um, what block is it that I put the lever on? Draining, draining, draining. Are you going to grow, glow super fucking bright? Okay, Alex, what am I missing here? Let me come take a look. It's stabilized, and I'm using the node transducer. Well, first off, the node transducer, by definition... It... Hand me that Thama fucking meter thing. Hold on. I gotta get back up there. Then yeah, turn it off. Hand me, hand me the thermometer. Charlie, turning it on and off like that is bad. Okay, wh why am I giving you the thermometer? So I can see what the fuck is going on here. Well, there's no aspects in it now because the transducer is on. Or off. Uh, well, okay, so here's the thing. What? You really fucked up. How's that? You should have just left it alone. It cannot fade while it is, while it is in a stabilizer. Okay? And you made the mistake of turning the node transducer on and off several times. Let me explain this in language that you could possibly understand. Okay. You see this node? Uh-huh. And how it's fading? It, yes. Well, imagine this node is like a butthole. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's say you decided to use this node transducer to really stretch it open to get as much as you 